Good morning and welcome to the presentation of our new Billsoft Qubit application. Uh, thank you for everyone who's joining us today. Uh, my name is Michael Kerwin of BSS Software. Okay, for those of you who have been using BT2, you should have already received your Qubit installation and activation instructions. You'll see that if you've loaded a Qubit looks the same. And as you will have known, it's a free upgrade to you or your company, as long as you have a current software assurance contract with ourselves. Qubit improves the functionality that was available in BT2, and also includes a host of new and advanced features, and the majority of which these features have been requested over the last year by our users. So the Qubit webinar series that we're going to run is over the next two weeks, we're going to go through some of the new features that are now available in the, in the Qubit software. So uh, at the end of the presentation, which should only take about 15 minutes, I'll open it up for questions that you're able to type into your GoToWebinar message box on the right-hand side of your screen. And I'll go through any of them when I'm possible. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at today is the new plan revisions tool. Okay, this new feature will allow you to um, load and revise any plans that you have or replace existing plans with new plans that you receive. These can be vectorized PDF plans, CAD files, and also any BIM files that you may receive. Okay, so on my screen, I'm, I have a job already loaded with some takeoff and some items created on our estimate list. So the first thing I'll do is I'll insert a new plan, and I'll do that by just going to my plans tab and choosing insert. And I, this will give you a normal file open window, and I'll just go and select. So we'll work off this particular PDF file. Okay, so we'll import our PDF as normal. Okay, now you'll notice that when I'm in there, oh, hang on, let me just kick that out there now. Um, you notice that when we're in there now, the uh, the plan scaling options have changed slightly, in that the um, you know they now are on a pop up screen here where you've got your new options where you can type into. So you've got your drop down menu here where you can do your scaling, etc. So you can do horizontal or vertical, diagonal or horizontal line. We've removed the from the uh, pro image processing screen on the plans tab at the very top on the ribbon. We've now got our aligning options here because there's a couple of new options available. So if you'd like to rotate your plan. You could use your rotation on the alignment section, so I'll just rotate that and 90 degrees left. And I'll just zoom up, and because it's a PDF, I need to set my scale as normal. So I'll just use one of these dimension lines here. So again, as before, we just snap to your point. We come across, snap to the next point, and we just tell it what that distance is based on the unit that we're going to go at millimeters, we'll just hit scale. So like as before, that new drawing is now scale and inserted into our, into our job forever. So we're not linking to external ones. Uh, it, the, every plan you load is built into the software for you. Okay, so as you can see, I have my plan loaded here. So what I might do is just do a bit of a very quick takeoff. So I'll just zoom up on our laundry room here. Okay, and we might just put in so an area there of tile. So we'll just pick off a particular color. So I'm going to do that in the green color. Yeah, and I might just use the rectangle tool here quickly just to um, draw that shape in for ourselves. Okay, so very quickly, 
we get a, and as you can see, we've got a, a total quantity of six square meters rounded up from our calc sheet of 5.58 uh, square meters for the floor. Okay, based on the color you marked it up. Okay, so there's some takeoff. As I say, you'd be used to doing that if you've been using BT2 to date. Now, where the new feature becomes available is on our plan section, we have a new revision section on our, on our toolbar, or on our ribbon, I should say. Now, before I do the revision, there's also a new section on our job options. Okay, so on your default options on the viewport, you now have a new section on your qubit option for the revision. And what this is for is, this is allowing you to select the colors available. So you can actually pick what the background color would be, what your takeoff color would be, you know, also what color you'd like the new items to show as, what you'd like deleted items to show as, etc. So these are just allowing you to change them. I'll leave the default colors, but just so you know, you can change them should you wish to. Okay, so I'll just say okay to that. Bring me back. Okay, so we've done our takeoff here, and now we're going to get a revised plan for that particular drone. Okay, so to run the revision tool, how you do it is with the plan open, you come up to your ribbon on the plans tab and you choose add revision. Okay, and what that allows you to do is that allows you to browse to wherever you have your revised plan loaded. Okay, and you hit open. So what happens, as you can see, it gives you an option to choose the PDF pages you want to revise. So again, there's only one. Now, I think you don't have to worry about during the, rev the revision process is the software would automatically work out the orientation that you chose for the plan, and it will also work out any, um, you know, any scale that you preset on the plan for yourself as well. So as you can see, what happens when you do your revision? The first thing the software does is run a comparison between your existing plan and the new revised plan, and it will highlight any differences for you. So as we could see here, the gray lines that were appearing here on our plan, they're plans that you know, haven't changed between the original and haven't changed on the new. So they've stayed the exact same on both. The ones in color, they've been amended. Okay, so we've got three different colors here. The orange item, they've been edited on the new plan compared to the revised. Okay. The green lines you see here, they're new items that don't exist on the original, but do exist on the revised. And the red lines that you see here, they're items that existed on, existed on the old plan, but don't exist anymore on the new. And if I zoom up there, you can see it obviously there's a bit of black work there being added. But around the laundry item that we, create, uh, we measured, you can see there that now the laundry room has actually been moved up here a bit on the revised plan and it's actually slightly a little bit bigger if I'm right. So you can see there, so you, it actually shows you what has changed between both plans. Now what also happens for you while you're in the edit process is over on the plan section here, it gives you your plan that you're revising. Okay, and if I expand that down, it actually also shows you the layers that are on it. And you now know, you notice that you've got two columns here with the visibility. One is the actual deleted items, and one is the new items. So what you're able to do is you can actually turn on and off these visibilities as you make your edits. Now again, depending on what colors you chose, it'll see your takeoff. But if you select any of your takeoffs, see as I hover over there, I've got my laundry. So, you know, one of the benefits of this feature is while still in the revised mode where the comparison is happening, you can actually edit your takeoff 
as you go. So rather than just getting a list of all the comparisons and then trying to work out what's changed, you can actually edit your shapes as you go. So like if I wanted to edit the laundry room there, I could choose the edit on select. So when I select the item, it actually puts the shape into edit mode. Okay, you notice that I've got the, two, the four little nodes where I click to draw the shape, but I've also got the move option. So what I'm able to do is I can click and I can actually move that shape anywhere I wish. Okay. So I can move that shape over here and position it on the item. So you can move your shape. Now the quantity won't have changed on the move because you're only moving it. But if, as you can see, this actually wall has been expanded and it's now finishing out here. So one of the new features in Cubit is rather than have to move the individual nodes separately, if you go across and select the middle of the wall and click, you can now drag your wall out there till it snaps to the point. And when you're happy with the position, just release your left mouse button and that will edit the shape. You'll also notice over here, the quantity automatically updates for you. So when you're editing a shape, it'll automatically update your estimate of your bill straight away with the quants that are linked to that shape. And when you're happy with that position, you just click away, that'll be your shape. Now, you know, as I say, so you just amend all the shapes that are in there for yourself. When you're finished in your edit, you can come back up to your plan section and on the revision section, you have two further options now. One is cancel, so you can obviously cancel the revision and revert back to your original file at any stage. Or when you're happy, what that will do is that will actually click for a finish revision. And the finish revision will actually, are you sure? So that's just your confirmation, so we'll say yeah there. So what the revision does is it removes the original plan and replaces it with the revised plan. And obviously when I open it back up then, any takeoff that I edited while I was in the revision will now be sitting on top of where it should be. Now again, don't be worried, that edit tool that I was showing you about editing your shape isn't just purely for the revised module or the revision module, it's actually you could edit your shape anywhere. So even after you finish the revision, if you see something that doesn't look right, you know, you can actually edit it as you go. Okay, so one of the other benefits is, is as I say, when you're doing your voice tool, once you have a plan open, you could use the revision tool. So actually BT2 allows you to actually open multiple plans as, as we go, or Qubit, I should say, if you use it in your name. Uh, so you could actually run the revision on multiple plans at the same time that no other software allows you to do. Okay, but as I say, so we're only going to do little short presentations of the new features. The next one available is next Tuesday at uh, at 10.30 a.m. where I'm going to look at the templates and BOQ reporting. So what I'll do now is I'll open it up to any questions that you may have that you can actually type into uh, your uh, message box on the right hand side. Okay, just in case any, I'll leave it open for a bit in case anybody is typing them. And um, as it was, as what we're doing is we'll actually be recording these sessions. Okay, the sessions then that we'll be recording, um, you know, I'll make available afterwards. So, you know, everybody that attends them. And if you can't actually make any of the, like any of the sessions on the other days, you know, those will be available. If you just register for it, 
you'll get a copy of it uh, for yourself. Okay, there's a first question coming through there uh, from Donica from Council. How do you get the heights? I assume, Donica, you mean the heights of the walls uh, when you're doing a vertical area. I was just doing, on my screen, I was just doing the, um, I was just doing the actual floor area. But if you were doing the outside wall, say you were measuring, say, the brickwork item here, and you wanted to measure the outside wall on your new task screen over here before you do your takeoff. So if I just polyline there as my tool, I can actually give it the annotation for the calc sheet and also type in what the height of the wall is. So I could say, say it's three and a half meters high. And then when you do your measure, it'll actually work because you're on vertical area as a result of when you do your line, so you can say you go from there, I'm just doing this very quickly. It'll actually take that linear length, multiply it by your height, and give you your takeoff. And that takeoff then will appear in the call sheet for you. And you'll get a breakdown of your details. You can also then, for verification purposes, view that you know, in 3D. So you can make sure you've got the right height set for each wall type. Okay, any other questions, guys? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, how do you allow for deductions for us? I'll actually be showing you the new windows and doors tool on the um, next uh, next Thursday. I think it's the 20th, Donegal. So I'll be going through how you do deductions using the windows and doors tool. If you can make it, just give me a shout um, you know, after this later today, and I can chop the drill up. Okay, I'll go here, my thoughts. How we go, it's the late tank project. It's Okay, Okay, guys, if there's no other question, thank you very much for attending. I say, I hope you can make the next one, which is on the 18th of, uh, of November, and we're going to look at the new template job tool, and also the uh, BOQ reporting options now available. So I'd just like to thank everyone for coming this morning. Hope you found it a benefit, and if there is anything else that you know, you'd like to ask me, just either give me a call or drop me an email. It's michael at esssoftware.com. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks for coming.